Right. We gotta get a good run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go play. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's gonna gonna go go <laughs> it is a blue. Uh, I saw the thing. It's a blue platform one. So someone's gotta. Do we go for grab? Mm. But that's for the weak side. That's true. We gotta go. We just gotta go. Time to dump. Sorry, I'm all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. I got it. Okay. You good? All right. Oh. All right, folks. Welcome to um, was this week uh, five, I think six. Um, so let's look at what we are. This is week six, right? So we are thirty-two, thirty-two and seventeen on the college football picks. A uh, week ago, we did pretty good. I think uh, last week we only got like two wrong I think let me recap of what we did last week let's see so last week we had Ole Miss Michigan right Wake Forest right Kansas right we got Mississippi State Washington State Clemson and this game did not happen um, but I think it happened today and UCF won so Today is, what, Wednesday the 5th of October. This game played, I think, today. Uh, um, so that didn't count, but we had picked Central Florida, so I guess it, if we technically could count it. But, so let's see, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... We went seven and two last week, which was pretty good. Seven and two, that's good. Um, so this week we are going with Texas versus Oklahoma first. Oklahoma has lost two straight, two straight, and they are not looking good. Texas, on the other hand, you know they rebounded. They rebounded after losing to uh, Texas Tech. I, however, you know, in a tough game, um, going to go with Texas this year. Normally, I, I would say you can't really trust Texas in that matchup, but this. For right now, I'm going with Texas, and that's what we're going with. Um, next game, TCU and Kansas. Now, who would have thought Kansas would be 5-0? and TCU 4-0. Um, Kansas is a nice story so far, but I think their luck runs out, and TCU beats them. <sighs> Tennessee and LSU. Uh, those of you know I'm an LSU fan, but I'm trying to be realistic for everybody else. I would say LSU, and I'm going with it. Of course, I'm going to pick them. <laughs> um, next game, UCLA and Utah. UCLA is having a great season right now this will be their biggest test and Utah's only loss came to Florida um gonna go with UCLA next game North Carolina and Miami going with North Carolina because I don't know what's going what's wrong with Miami right now next game Texas San Antonio Versus Western Kentucky. I'm gonna go with um, UTSA for no reason. I have no idea why. Um, next game, Iowa State hosting Kansas State. Who Kansas State beat Oklahoma, right? Right, and their loss. I forgot who they lost to, but. I forget, but it doesn't matter. They're going to beat Iowa State. The next game, 
USC versus Washington State. USC is going to win. Next game, BYU and Notre Dame. Notre Dame has kind of rebounded after struggling early. BYU's pretty good. I think they only lost to... I don't remember. But... I'm going with BYU. Next game, Florida State and, U and North Carolina State. NC State lost to Clemson. Florida State lost to who they played. Going um, NC State. Um, how many points will be scored in the TCU Kansas game? I'm gonna go with 70, 72. Oh, well, I said minus, apparently. Seven, hang on, what's going on? 72. Um, let me look at this real quick because I may change this pick. Notre Dame and um, BYU. You know, I, I like BYU. However, you know, no. Notre Dame has looked better the last few weeks. I'm actually going to go with Notre Dame instead. So here we have it. We're going with, um, let's recap. Texas, TCU, LSU, UCLA, North Carolina, Texas, San Antonio, Kansas State, USC, Notre Dame, NC State. So that will do it for um, week six of the college football. Um, it was pretty easy, so it's pretty short. But here we go. Um, I'll be right back.
Okay. All right. Okay. All right, we're back. And, um... We're actually... Fuck. Going to do... <coughs> Okay, so now we're back in the uh, NFL picks. Week five. We are 34 and 29 um, overall. Not very good. Let's go first. Um, the Thursday night game, which is Denver versus Indianapolis. And uh, Jonathan Taylor is out. Uh, Javante Williams is out for Denver. Uh, Matt Ryan, you know, typically struggles on the road, like outdoors, right? At least recently. I think Denver's three point favorite. We are going to go with Denver. To win at home. Who will win this? You know. Got Aaron Rodgers. And the Giants. They're playing in um, London. Something feels weird about it. But I'm going with Green Bay. I think Green Bay's defense is. You know. Too good for uh, the Giants. Next game, Buffalo and Pittsburgh, right? I'm going with Buffalo. Uh, Kenny Pickett will get the start for the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, uh, their defense is not good. They're not good right now. So I don't think uh, they're going to beat Buffalo. Next game. Cleveland and uh, Chargers. This could be a tough one because, you know, Chargers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Justin Herbert. Chargers do give up a lot to running backs, you know. I think I'm going with the Chargers. Next game is the Chicago Bears. Versus Minnesota. Minnesota looks pretty good this season. Um, but the Bears mm, aren't very good. Going with Minnesota to win. Next game, New England versus Detroit. Detroit. Lots of shootout with Seattle. Um, they have like the top offense, like points per game or whatever, total offense. But they are last in defense. The Patriots, however, will be on their like third string quarterback because Mac Jones injured. And I think Brian Hoyer. Is hurt. However, you know, I'm going with New England because Detroit's defense is bad, and Jared Goff has not done well against New England. I know they're getting some of their guys back, but I think New England will be able to win. Next game, New Orleans and Seattle. Seahawks beat Detroit last week. Detroit has had, you know, bad defense, right? The Saints are a better defense in Detroit. And this time, I think New Orleans will beat the Seahawks at home. The next game, 
will be Miami versus the Jets. It was It's going to be Teddy Bridgewater. Two is out. Um, Waddle, I guess, did not practice this week. If he practice, if he plays, I still think the Dolphins should beat the Jets. Um, I think with Tyreek Hill and stuff, you still have a chance. Next game, I mean, as, as I'm a fan. Of the Falcons, right? I really would hope they could win, but I'm being realistic here, and I don't think we can win. I don't. I don't think we will. We have yet to beat Tom Brady. Tom Brady's undefeated against the Falcons. A couple times they should have beat him, but you know that's beside the point now. Different teams. I don't. I hope the Falcons win, right? But I'm being honest and true, unbiased. I don't, I don't really think we can. Next game, Tennessee and Washington. I'm going with Tennessee. Washington's a mess right now. Tennessee's starting to play better. Next game, Houston and Jacksonville. Now this could. Possibly be a closer game than most people might think. I do think Jacksonville wins, but Houston, I think, will be getting closer to being able to compete. I'm not ready to say they'll win yet, but soon. Okay, next game, the 49ers versus Carolina. Well, what can I say about Carolina? They are who I thought they would be. They are who we thought they were with Mayfield. Some people thought, oh, no, he'll be an upgrade to Sam Darnold. Not so fast. 49ers come in, unbelievable defense. They're like, number one defense. Barely allowing any points. Don't yard. And you know yard per carry. Yard per attempt. Barely allowing any. I think the 49er win. Easy. The next game. Dallas versus the Rams. Prescott's not ready to come back yet. Um, they did say he was working towards it but he's not going to be back for this week and um, the Rams offense has not looked very good the team overall has not looked very good and if you think about it they're you know one play away from not beating the Falcons when they played Do I believe that? And then you got Dallas with Cooper Rush. So far, 3-0. Do I believe his run continues? No. I think the Rams win. But it might be closer than you think. The The final score may be like, you know, 20-17. to 17 Or 21-17. to 24-17. 24-20. Something to 20, to 20, to like that. Next game, Philly and Arizona. I'm going with the Eagles. They're playing outstanding right now. Complete team. Top three offense and defense. They're just playing out of their minds right now, and I think it's going to continue. You know? No win. Next game. Baltimore and Cincinnati. Um, this is tale of two teams. You got Cincinnati who started 0-2. And, and now have won two in a row. Playing like the old Bengals. 
Lamar Jackson in Baltimore. Probably should be 4-0, but they gave up the two games for some reason, you know? I'm going to go with Cincinnati to beat Baltimore. Because um, I don't believe Baltimore's defense. I mean, their defense is bad against the pass. It's going to be a good game. I think Cincinnati wins. Next game, the Monday night game. The Oakland slash Las Vegas Raiders. Not Oakland anymore. My bad. I think Kansas City wins. I think they're a better team. Uh, the Raiders do look a little bit better after they won. I don't believe they're ready to beat the Chiefs yet. So... Uh. So, how many total points um, in the Raiders Chiefs? I'll say, how many points will be scored? Well, let's see. It's going to be probably 27 24. So, what is that? Like, um,. We'll say 51. 51. I think it'll be 27-24. And, um... You know, there you have it. Um... So, before, you know... I'm looking... And my fantasy football team real quick. So I am 4-0. Um, I might have to make some changes. Not really, but. No, I'm good. I'm 4-0. Um. <coughs> Um, wait, why is it? Oh. I'm the number one scoring team. I've only made three moves. Look at that. So. So, I've only made three moves. Um, so, yeah. That, what do I got? Um, who do I play now? <coughs> I play uh, Salem, Jamaica. I don't want the advertisement on my screen, so I'll be, I'll be right back when it ends. Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm back. Alright, I'm back. So, according to this, I am projected to win 130. I'm projected to win, so, you know, that's all good. That's good. Um, (laughs) 
Um. Yeah. So I got you know, Josh Allen, Nick Chubb, Carlos Edward Elaer, Stefan Diggs, DK Metcalf. I picked up this D Tyler Conklin. Uh. Michael Pittman, Buffalo defense, and then the Bengals kicker. And on my bench, I got Dawson, Dawson Knox. Um, who might get dropped soon because he really hasn't done anything. AJ Dillon. This guy may get dropped. I'm not actually going to drop. Um, uh, Let's see. So, yeah, I think I'm going to drop. Um, you guys are going to see this. Because I want to see, what has he done? No, he hasn't done anything. So, let's look at his complete stats. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. But, um, fantasy number wise. He had 14 against, um, Baltimore. So, he's... I guess he's all right to keep for a minute. Um, when Dawson knocks, he's getting close because he had a single digit. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Uh, let me look at the projections. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's good. Um, so. Okay, well, okay, okay, so that will do it, so I will see my lineup, um, projection wise, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, next time, peace, Cyber Shadow though. Let's see how we do on our picks uh, this week. Alright, see you.